First of all, just reflecting on Sutton, how's the reaction been to that one in training? How's the mood been? No, the mood's been fine. Um, it was just an error of disappointment after the game. And, and in our conversations as a group uh, over the last day or two, our feelings are all very similar, like, like it probably is with, with our fans at the end of the day. If, if we score the second goal, um, we, we most likely at least win 2-0 or go on and win even more comfortable. That's how the players feel. And I like to gauge how they feel when they're on the pitch. Because... <clears throat> When you're playing the game and when you're watching the game, it's two very different feelings. But that was our feeling from the sideline and, and, and it happens to be their feeling out on the pitch. You know, they, they felt comfortable within the game um, that if we had got the second goal, we, we'd have gone on and won it. But we didn't. Um, we've obviously discussed how disappointed we were with the goal we conceded. Um, and my, my feelings were before the game, yeah, might have settled for a point and, and seen it as a good point. But then reflecting after, you know, uh, I'd, I'd have preferred it on the balance of play that it was three points. Uh, looking forward, we face Notts County. They've had a bit of a mixed bag in terms of results. One loss, one draw so far. What, what are you expecting from them? Yeah, I, don't, I haven't really taken much notice of their uh, results. They'll be a decent side. They've signed some decent players. Um, they're probably similar to Yeovil and very similar to how we was last summer where you come out of the league and you make signings um, and, and it can take time for a team to gel. I mean, we're obviously a year further on than that and we're starting to see the benefits of everyone working together regularly and we're, we're starting to look like a, a decent side. But, you know, there's there's... You know, they, they've made the sign-ins that let's hope they take a little bit longer than tomorrow to, to gel and click into place. But I'm sure they will as the season goes on. They'll be, it's a huge club for this level. Um, they've got a great manager who's a really good guy as well. So I anticipate it being a very, very tough game. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it because the surface is always good there. Nice big pitch. We're going there confident. We know what we're going there to try and achieve. So we're in a good place with it. So they've got the biggest ground in the league. How big a pot can our fans play? They're drumming up some atmosphere there. Listen, our fans have been terrific. I, 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 and I keep saying it and I'll, I'll keep complimenting them because since I've taken over, they've been hugely supportive of me and the team. And, you know, I, I, I sense there is this togetherness growing. It's getting tighter and tighter each game, each good performance. So they'll they'll come along, hopefully in numbers. I know one or two will choose to stay at home and sit in the armchair or go down the pub and watch it. Fair play. But I'm sure we'll be well supported from, from all angles. We're right into the games now. And as a manager, how difficult is it to prepare, make sure your team are prepared with such a quick turnover of games now? I think you just have to get the balance right because you've got, uh, you've got your 11, maybe 12, stroke 13 that are, that are playing, you know, with the subs coming on. And then you've got a group of players that constantly need a little bit extra and a little bit of topping up with, with their fitness. And then I've even got a, another group that are a tiny bit behind in fitness that have to do a little bit extra. So you just modify training for certain groups, certain individuals, just to try and get everyone in a healthier place. Um, I stated yesterday on, on Twitter to some fans that were asking questions that you know, we've, we, we had the four players come back in and train. Charlie and Ricardo can't play on 4G, you know, through um, precaution because of the surface and the injuries that they potentially carry. And Andre had missed a couple of weeks where he had to have an injection and to get the maximum out of the injection, you needed to leave it for 14 days. He could have potentially played after nine or 10 days, but then you you run the risk of the injection not having the full impact. So we've, we've had to manage Andre as well. And then obviously Elliot, with his little thigh strain that he got at St Albans, he then felt it again through the week. So, you know, I've just wanted to make sure with Elliot that he gets a good three or four days training into him to kind of encourage us that he's, he's over it. Um, but the four of them are trained. And as I've stated, I'm, I'm very hopeful that 
Sweeney and Mauro will be back up and running and out on the grass towards the end of the month. How's Shaq looking? Because he came on for the last sort of. Yeah, I mean, he's he's certainly not he's certainly not one hundred percent fit where we all know he can be. You know, he's a real nuisance when he's fit. He covers a lot of grass. You know, he's physically strong. You know, mental sharpness as well. You know, he had a he had a couple of little opportunities when he came on that when he's fit. He's quicker in his play and he takes his touch and he gets his shot away. So it's mental fitness as well as physical fitness. But he's getting there, just, you know, it's just gonna, it might take a little bit of time, but he's training every day, so that's, that's the plus. And just finally, it's been well documented that we're in for a forward. Is there any updates on how the search for a front line's coming? Yeah, I mean, without getting too carried away and too excited, there's a, there's a couple of situations that are bubbling away that um that won't be in place by by the Notts County game. But I'm hopeful. I am hopeful and I'll always be hopeful that we're gonna have someone in place before the Dover match.